Hi guys, in today's video, I wanna talk about an extremely powerful use case of generative AI. I'm gonna show you how to replace anyone in your video with a completely different character, all while keeping the same motion and matching the look of your video. And you don't need any advanced technical skills to do this. You can even swap objects or vehicles. Not only that, I'll also show you how to turn the entire video into an artistic style, such as anime or claymation, so you can create stories in any look you want. Want. You can do all of that and more inside one single platform, so let's get right into it. To stylize the video, head over to lumalabs.ai, open Dream Machine, click Try Now, and once you log in, click here to start a new board, then click on Modify. Here you can upload your video. Next, click on the uploaded video, and you can actually use this window to trim the clip down to your desired duration, and you can modify up to 10 seconds of video. After trimming, you can go ahead and click Apply. Next, click on Modify Frame. This will load the very first frame of your original video and here you can describe the changes you want to apply. For example, you can say turn this into claymation style, then click here, give it a few seconds to generate and just like that you get a stylized version of the frame. Once you're happy with the look, go ahead and click apply. Now we can use the stylized frame as a reference to transform the entire clip. You can also add a prompt here if you want, although it's totally optional. But what's more important here is actually the transformation strength. You can choose from a range of levels. The lower your strength, the more the output will adhere to the original structure and performance details of your video. The higher you go, the more creative and different it's going to be from your original video. I tend to use a medium strength to get a good balance and if you click here, you can play with other settings. For example, you can change the output resolution or generate multiple videos at once. Once you're done with the settings, go ahead and click on this arrow to start generating your video and you'll be able to see the progress live inside of your board. And as you can see, after generating, we get a stylized version of our video without changing the movement or composition. And I personally love this claymation style. Inside of the same board, you can also do some iterative editing. If you click here, for example, you can choose reuse message and this will load the same inputs again in the prompt box. This time, let's remove the stylized frame. There are cases where you might want to use an external tool to stylize the first frame, especially if you can't get a certain style to work or want more control over specific parts of the image. Let's open the video, then click here to download the first frame. And here, I'm going to use the Nano Banana model inside of OpenArt. You can click here to upload the first frame of your video. Make sure you match the output ratio to the original video and in the prompt box, you can type something as simple as turn this into anime style and then click create and in a few seconds you will get a beautiful anime version of the same image download that now let's go back to dream machine click on start frame and choose the stylized image this time let's try increasing the strength by one step then click here to start generating and in a few minutes we get a video with the same structure same movement except now it's anime. And of course you can do this with a variety of other styles. Think of all the animated stories you can create without the need for animation skills. Not to mention that traditional animators can also take advantage of this to create better references before working on the final animation, which is really cool. To export your video, you can click on the three dots here and then click download. Now, not only can you stylize videos using Dream Machine, but you can also replace the character with something completely different while maintaining the original environment and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. But first I want to show you guys Luma's new model Ray 3. If you open the settings you can click on Ray 2 and switch over to Ray 3 or even better Ray 3 Reasoning. The difference with this model is that it thinks creatively before creating. Using this model, you're more likely to get an output you like from just a few attempts instead of burning through credits. I highly recommend you use this for complex videos where you have multiple characters, a build up for different events or actions or complex movements. You will get better consistency, better physics and more realistic outputs overall. You can choose between 720p or 1080p resolution or use the draft mode to quickly create a video without wasting 
wasting much time and credits, you can then regenerate the draft video in a higher resolution. You can also switch from SDR to HDR, which gives you richer contrast and overall much better quality, or go with HDR plus EXR. This one is for those of you who plan to color grade videos after generating. I want to say thank you to Luma for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in trying out all of the features available on Dream Machine, you can find a special promo code in the description box, and the first 100 people to claim the code will get free access to the Plus plan for an entire month. As for character replacement using Dream Machine, again, all you have to do is upload a video of whichever character or person you want to replace, click here to open the trimming window, and download the start frame. This time, instead of using Nano Banana, I'm gonna use the C Dream model, which in my experience works much better for character replacement. Upload the first frame, and in the prompt box, let's type replace the person with a cyberpunk character, hit create, and you will get two options to choose from. Obviously, I'm gonna go with this one since it replaced the person entirely. If you want to go beyond just a prompt and replace someone with something more specific using the same model, you can actually upload not only the first frame, but also a reference image of the new character. But in the prompt, make sure you are clear with the instructions. For example, here I'm going to type replace the person in image 1 with the person from image 2 and hit create. You might not get the perfect image every single time, sometimes the model seems to change the framing, but you can just choose the one that's closer to the original video or generate again until you're satisfied with the result. And then just like we did earlier, use the original video along with the modified frame as input and you will get a video of the new character in the same original environment and moving exactly like your original character. Although the lip sync is not perfect at times, but the replacement is still pretty clean and the movement is very natural. Using this same feature, you can also replace animals in videos, you can even replace vehicles, and I think this is a game changer for creators and indie filmmakers who want to create characters or costumes that they don't have access to. And not only can you swap and stylize characters using Dream Machine, you can also use the modify feature to change the lighting or time of day in your scene, or modify specific parts with instructions, and much more, all in one single platform. If you want to start playing with Dream Machine, remember to use the promo code below, stay creative, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.